This is the dick bag. If they're cool. That's stiff. If they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been waiting for that all afternoon. If they're cool, they stay out of the dick bag. If they're a dick, you got to drop <laughs> okay. them in the dick bag. Yes. Ricky Steamboat. Definitely out of the bag. Jim Ross. Jim Ross. Uh, uh, Borderline, but I'll say out of the out of the. No, you know what? You did in, hesitate in the bag because uh, he was the one that told me that you know pressure man said you know Shane that you know the opportunity only comes wrong around once you know you hold out too long you might miss your boat for the WWF. So for that alone, I respect him as an announcer and like him as a guy. But Jim for the for the swerve on the uh, Dean Douglas character, Dick, in just incredible. Uh, out of the bag, Dusty. Uh, uh, same thing, I'm going to preface it. In the bag, not because I don't respect him and learned a ton from him, but whenever I was a young guy in wrestling, uh, working in the NWA or WCW, I forget which, uh, I had gone to him, I was starving. Literally starving. After about six months, I was $1,200 in the hole and wasn't living lavishly. And I went to Dusty in St. Louis at the Keel Auditorium and I sat him down and said, Dusty, look, if you have nothing for me, just please tell me I can go home and get a job in my field, whatever. Just, you know, he put his arm around me and said, kid, you got a big business, big, big future in this business. Just stick with me, kid. And for the next six months, I went another $1,200 on the hole. So on that alone, Dusty. <laughs> Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Come on, slam dunk on that. Uh, well, well, hold on a second. We can put, do you, you don't have a crucifix around here any place, do you? Oh. Because we could probably put them on the crucifix in Jesus' on the cross. place. Yeah, yeah. 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 They would just put it like right there up on there and say, you know, it used to say Jesus of Nazareth, but now it says yeah, Sean Michaels. That the other part yeah, of the cross, Sean Michaels, the, the Savior. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. Uh, in, in the bag because he could have single-handedly unionized this business and protected a lot of guys. Whoop, I missed it. Joey Styles. Joey Styles definitely out of the bag. Greatest announcer in wrestling. Fantastic guy. Uh, Vince McMahon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the bag with a little bit of a wipe. That's a first. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho out of the bag. Good guy. I'm not even going to. Why waste the time here? <laughs> Ric Flair. You know, I, but I'll say this. Uh, before I put him in the bag, <laughs> before I put Dick in the dick bag. This has nothing to do um, with work ethic or, or the... Uh, no, not, none of that. But no. here, here, here's the thing about Rick. I, I'm hearing stories now about... You know, uh, the, the state, you know, alcoholic, whatever, you know, this bad situation he's in. If that's the case, my heart goes out to him. But for being a dick to me, I'll put you in the dick bag. Jeff Jarrett. Um, uh, sort of indifferent on him. Uh, you know, I'd say, oh, yeah, no, no strong feeling one way or the other. Russo. Um, uh, same thing. Uh, I'll, I'll just say dick bag on the sense that. Uh, dick bag? Oh. Okay. Yeah, just because. Uh, He's just written some horrible shit. Kevin Dunn. Kevin Dunn, um, out of the bag. I always go along well okay. with Kevin. He loves us. Eric Bischoff. I I'll keep him out of the bag, and I'll tell you why. He, at a time when I left ECW, a uh, hundred and some thousand dollars in the hole that I was owed from ECW. I had zero leverage. Uh, Vince McMahon was offering me some ridiculous 125,000 a year or something, and Bischoff, uh, could have very easily said, look, kid, you got no leverage. I'll pay you 100000 take it or leave it. Instead, he put a very lucrative uh, contract offer on the table to bring me and Flair to television, and based on that alone, out of the bag. Triple H. Uh, 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 part of the click in the bag. Guess right along the same lines here. I know, I like no Pac. Click? Okay, no, I good. like Pac. I, 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 you know, he, uh, uh, you know, he's... Same thing. It's one of those things. Not such a personal level, but I, you know, I've always gotten along well with Pac. Dynamite. For clotheslining my my best friend in the <laughs> business coming in, Mick Foley, when he was there to get you over, Dick Bag. Mang. <laughs> you can get me say nothing bad about there Mang. There you go. Mang, Mang, but he is. He's a fantastic guy. Smart man, fantastic. Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette. Good. I, I get along with Jim. Yeah. Okay. I, I can see how he rubs some people the wrong way, but I get along with him. Raven. Raven, uh, you know, just because he always tells people he's the greatest ECW champion of all time, yeah. got to put you in with Dick. <laughs> He'll talk the fucking ears off a of brass monkey too. <laughs> that one? Jesus, <laughs> Dean Malenko. Dean Malenko out of the, out of the bag. Uh, good friend. Perry Saturn. Out of the bag. Dreamer. Out of the bag. Mike Graham. Mike Graham, uh, indifferent. Uh, 
Well, no strong feeling one way or the other. Your buddy Mech stays out, out of the bag. bag of course. Take that, Kevin Nash. Uh, out of the bag, Kevin. Another one. You know, the thing about Kevin is I've always found, and, and everybody's agreed with me universally about this, and most people have mentioned it to me. Uh, Kevin, away from the click, is as personable, professional, easy going of the guys there is. Uh, Taz, dick bag. Let me tell you, brother, that guy is, uh, he can be a dick bag, but we've had some great matches, so he stays out of the bag. All right, that. Bubba Ray. Bubba Ray, uh, I got to disagree. You know, Bubba's always been very professional with me, very respectful. Um, uh, we work closely together on promoting ECW. Um, he, he's, of course, he stole this, and you're a thief because of that, but you know, Bubba, I consider Bubba a friend. New Jack. New Jack. Uh, Craziest son of a bitch. Uh, I, how this guy is still alive is, is amazing. I'm glad he is, but it amazes me because he has he has pushed the envelope about as far as any human being I've ever seen to the edge and and survived it. Uh, but he's doing great. He's uh, he, uh, he's the happiest I've seen in a while, and I'm happy for him. Out of the bag, Kidman. Kidman out of the bag, like like Billy. Shivani. Shivani. Uh, uh, talented, but he, he when he got that power went right to his head. So dick bag with with dick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Dick? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Dick bag. Oh, Shivani. Yeah. That's shocking to me. Scott Hall. Scott Hall. Uh, I'm going to keep him out of the dick bag only because guy has enough demons uh, yeah. of his own. You know, I, I wish the best for him. hope he gets himself cleaned up. But uh, when I saw him the last time, it wasn't uh, it, it was cause for great concern. Conan, who I'm putting in because you know showed us two times and owes us $500. But what did you uh, think of him? I always go along with Conan. Uh, he was difficult to promoters to work for because he was always espousing his guy's point of view. But that that never in, in, entailed me. You know, I was always just uh, like on a work level with him and stuff. And uh, uh, I think he had seen in some of the things that I had been through in the business. I think he had seen like a kindred spirit of some sorts. And so we'd always got along pretty well outside of the ring. Okay. Clearly, you never had to hire him. <laughs> Shane. McMahon. I've always liked Shane. I've known Shane since he was a kid, and uh, he was always been, uh, I thought, a pretty intelligent guy. Uh, not, not, not a pretty, a darned intelligent guy, um, and uh, seems to be uh, in that family the one to me that has the the biggest cojones to be willing to stand up for the right thing. Very at good. At least in my experience. Johnny Ace, I think, is staying out. Yeah, right? he stays out. Yeah. Although I've heard, I've heard some of the people say they'd probably put him in there. Depends who you ask. <laughs> yeah. he, he hit the dick bag a lot. Lance Storm. Great guy. Very intelligent, mm -hmm. great worker. A uh, little dry in the character, but, uh, you know, he's uh, like, yeah, out of the bag. How torn you must be <laughs> when you look at this name. It really is, you know, because... How much money does he owe you? To the penny. Give me. $144,000... Hundred and forty-four thousand. Oh, it's been so long. Seven. It's forty-four cents. It's okay. hundred forty-four thousand something. Forty-four Four cents. cents. So, uh, you know, it really is. I mean, because for me, the, you know, the the guy that put me in the situation to become the franchise and and the biggest part of my career and and. Uh, looked me in the eye and lied to me about the money that he owed me and was going to pay me and swore to me on, on my father's eyesight, you will get every... So for your father, I'm going to put you in the dick bag just because you swore on your dad's eyesight when you knew you were lying. Very good.